Hello everyone and uh, thank you for joining another MSCRM add-ons uh, webinar. Today we are going to be covering documents and e-signatures and Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And basically Documents Core Pack combines it all. Uh, my name is Clint Higley and uh, if you have been on one of these webinars before, um, you will know that in the bottom left-hand corner of your meeting burner window there is a chat. Uh, we do have team members in uh, in there monitoring that chat. So any questions or anything like that that you have during the webinar, please feel free to just type your question in there. Um, we'll get those answered right away. Um, at the end of the webinar, I do uh, time permitting, I do do a question and answer session. So you can, um, I'll just read off the chats and answer those questions if 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 I can. Uh, one other thing that we do here is we record these. So um, afterwards, to all the participants and everything like that, we'll provide the slides and also provide um, a link to the recording um, to where you can see this and review it if you'd like. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. I want to talk a little bit about uh, here um, the inter uh, introducing the e-signature integration with Documents Core Pack. Um, so basically, we all know that the paper process of you know getting things contracts done and getting them signed and everything like that is really time consuming. Um, you basically have to create these customer specific documents, uh, the circulation and revisions. People have to review them. You got to go over them over and over again. And then of course the signing process by you and your customers. You know you may be able to send them that electronic document, but then they have to print it out or you know sign it and then scan it back in. So it's 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 a long time consuming process. So our idea was how do we make this thing simpler um, for everyone? And uh, what we came up with is we do that by integrating uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM as our data host uh, using the Documents Core Pack tool, uh, which is going to allow us to uh, generate these documents. And then using DocuSign as the e-signature provider, okay? So that we can do this whole circle here. So basically all the way from getting that data out, creating that document, having, you know, being signed and countersigned, and sending that right back into CRM. Basically what it's going to do for you is it's going to save you time and money because the process is done really, really quickly with just a couple of clicks. Um, you can also set up one-click actions for this. So it's just one click and that everything gets the ball rolling. And you can also automate this if you'd like you know, using our automation process. So um, it's really in the end, like I said, going to save you time and money. Um, application scenarios, basically uh, it's, it's pretty obvious what this thing will do. It's basically anything that's going to need a signature. Um, that can be contracts, non-disclosure agreements, uh, statements of work, proposals, uh, POs, and you know the list just kind of keeps going on from there. Uh, some of the features that this basically gives you, um, it gives you in your template design, you can place uh, e-signature components such as your signature locations, uh, where people need to initial, the date signed, etc. Um, also, it has support for multiple signees, so you can have basically almost as many signees as you want. Um, you, know, you have multiple people sign that document right in a row. Um, it's, you can also the documents can be signed by a customer and then countersigned by an internal employee. Um, some of the things that we're going to hear demonstrate here in just a moment. Um, basically, the first demo, the first part of the demo, is going to be defining the e-signature fields within the Documents Core Pack template. Uh, we're going to basically cover uh, how to insert the, the DocuSign fields. Uh, defining those, this, we're going to define a signature location. We're going to add some flags for initials, date signed, etc. Um, and we're also going to be defining and assigning the uh, those fields for multiple signees. So you're going to see that process, and it's it's really really simple and easy to do. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to trigger the e-signature process to, uh, through our create with our create document button um, to basically just you'll see the process go from, from kind of start to finish inside of CRM. Um, and when we're finished, that's basically going to kick us into the third part of our demo, which is showing you the signing and countersigning of the documents. Um, it's uh, just, just basically going to cover the whole post-processing uh, portion of the DocuSign solution. So without further ado, I'm going to flip right on over to my, uh, to my demo machine. 
And uh, what I've got up here is I have up uh, the uh, Documents Core Pack Template Designer in Word here. I've already got a, uh, a non-disclosure agreement that I've kind of been working on here. And you can see here, I've gone ahead, I've inserted a few fields into these, uh, into here, just standard fields uh, straight from the, uh, the contact record. Okay, and you can see here I have a couple little spots here where I need to add um, some fields that I want to have them be DocuSign fields. So in order to do that here, for example, here I want this agreement. I want to put in the, the, sign, the date that this is going to be signed. Uh, basically all I need to do is come down here to my Insert button. Uh, just click on my uh, More Options, and then you can see I have my DocuSign items here. Um, I go ahead and click that, and it gives me a list of everything that I can insert into this. So you've got your signatures, initials, date sign, full name, etc. So you've got a lot of things that you can kind of choose from. Totally customize this. So for this, I want to put in the date signed. I'll just go ahead and fill that in, and, and there we go. That's my first DocuSign field that's in there. So once this goes off to DocuSign, DocuSign is going to fill in um, the date that this thing was signed. Um, coming down here to the bottom, I'll just skip over this little part. I'll come right back to it, show you that in just a second. Um, I have my signature fields here. Uh, basically, I want to have this signed by, this is going to be the first signee. This is going to be the contact that I'm actually going to send this, uh, this document to. So again, all I need to do here is come in to my DocuSign items, um, insert my signature field. Uh, now I need, do want to have this countersigned by my internal employee. So uh, I'll add just basically here just another DocuSign, another signature field. Now, so I have these two signature fields. Now I need to basically assign them uh, uh, to, each, uh, to each individual person. So I have basically two signees here, so now basically I have to define which signature field belongs to who. And I do that just by clicking on the first signature. I want to assign this basically to my, my, first, uh, uh, my first signee. Click on there. Uh, go right up to my field properties here. And uh, then you can see here in my field properties, I've got the name of the field and who it belongs to. Okay? So this is already defaulted. It's defaulted to signee 1. Okay? I can also set the offset if I want to like, play around with how it's going to look in the document, something that you can do in testing. So it's really nice to have. So this one's all set up. Now what I need to do, I'll do the same thing again uh, for my next one. So I'll go into my field properties here. You can see it defaults here to uh, the signing number one. Um, I need to add another one. So um, what I'll do is I'll come in. I have a signee number two. I'll go ahead and assign that to them. Now as you can see here, you can keep adding as many as you want, and you can also delete the last one that you want to. Uh, you know, so like if I can, I can add a signee 3 if I wanted to, and so on. Right now I don't need that one, so I'll just go ahead and delete the signee 3. So I have signee number 2 is assigned to this field right here. Okay. I do want to go ahead and just add real quick a couple of initial fields, and just, I'm just going to quickly go through here. Just go to my DocuSign items. Um, go ahead and grab the initials for number one. Uh, go ahead, DocuSign items again, do my initials, and then set my fields. Just want to verify here real quick. This is for signee one. That is correct. So I'll just go ahead and hit OK. And then the second field here, I want to assign that to signee two. So assign it to him. And then say OK. So basically that's all it is. It's very simple to insert these fields into there. It's very simple to assign them uh, to the two multiple signees. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save this template back um, to CRM. And it takes just a moment there. So I'll close this down um, and head over to the second part of our demo where I'm going to go ahead and go in and grab uh, the contact here that I'm actually going to use that document and send it off to them. Um, to start the, the whole document DocuSign process. So the first thing that I want to do here um, is go ahead and use our Create Document button. So from here, it's just basically if you're familiar with Documents Core Pack and you used the Documents Core Pack dialog before, um, it's really simple uh, and it's, it's, it's almost pretty much the same process. So I'm going to pick my, uh, my NDA and I'm going to be sending it out. Go ahead and click Next. Now uh, I have a few more options here um, in this one. So I can basically choose my file type, and in here, basically, um, I have the the new feature is the uh, sending as a DocuSign email. Okay, what that does here 
is it basically um, it will look at the document and uh, kind of read out how many signees you are going to have. So if you have, like for example in this one I have two, it is going to give me these two fields which, um, which signee belongs to basically which field. So since I know this person um, that I am sending this to is signee one, I'll go ahead. Uh, you can choose who uh, basically the person here and then their email address. Again, I will do the same thing for the next one. I want this to come back actually to me. Um, and then I want it to come to uh, my work email. So you can kind of set that up so you can do the secondary and primary emails and send it out. So if I had a, a document that was set up for um, to have three different people sign this, I would actually have uh, three of these people, three of these things to kind of set up. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I need to do. And um, all I need to do here is click Next. My document creation is in process. Um, it happens really quick. And you can see here if I open it up, a Documents Core Pack has done um, its initial process here, filled in the fields um, that I needed. You can see, if you remember down here, um, I had these fields, the full name of these uh, the signees in there. What you don't see here is the, the signature. So actually, uh, you know, I've got this basically this document is made. There's no signatures or anything like that. It's done with DocuSign there yet. Um, so that is basically it for, for Documents Core Pack. I'll click that Finish button. And now what it's doing is it's starting up the entire uh, process by sending this off to, to DocuSign here. So if I come over here uh, to my inbox here and in Gmail, um, you can see here I've got a, a, docu a DocuSign document that I need to review and sign. So I'll go ahead and open this up. Um, and then let's see, I'll review my document here. Uh, and then again, this is just the standard. If you've ever used DocuSign before, um, you just basically have to uh, agree to the electronic records and signature disclosures. So you agree to that. Hit Continue. Um, and then go ahead and start. So you can read this. It comes down. You can see here the agreement's made on. It's actually inserted that in there. So the agreement's made today. Um, I'll just initial here, real quick. It's got my initials in there. So I'll adopt that initial. All right, so and then move on down to the signature portion here. Um, go ahead and sign that. Puts that in there. Once I'm done, I'll hit finish. Um, and then that's pretty much it for my first person signee. So now, let's see here. Just kind of minimize that and go back over here to my work email here. And open this thing up here. I've got an email here from DocuSign basically letting me know that I have a document that I need to review and sign. Um, so I'll just go ahead and open this up here. I need to go ahead and let me just log on real quick. All right. Log in. And again, so now it's time for me to actually, since I've already agreed, since I already have an account, you can see here um, I've got the, the first person's initials right in there, so I need to initial that field and go ahead and countersign this document, okay, and click Finish. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm done. And then finally, at the very end there, what I do is I will get another email here shortly to show you my Outlook. That lets me know here that the, the document signature uh, process has been complete. And I have my document here that I can open up. So that's PDF. So you can see here, hang on a second. I've got both my signatures in there, both the, the initials, everything, my document, it's ready to go. I have my NDA. I've got the email now. All I need to do is basically track that back to CRM, uh, track that back to the contact, and uh, and then it's uh, you're finished. You have it back in CRM. So, really and truly, if I hadn't explained that process, the process usually takes you know if everybody's ready to sign something, the process usually takes roughly around you know five minutes or so, and you're done. So, uh, yeah, that's the whole entire process here. I want to talk a little bit about. Um, some upcoming features to this. Talk a little bit about the roadmap here. Um, 
some of the things that are coming up, we're going to have, uh, we're going to hopefully be supporting some other e-signature providers. Uh, the one, uh, a sure sign, will be one of them. Um, Echo sign, oh, not too sure about yet. We'll, uh, we'll have to take a look at that and see. Uh, we're going to also be adding some definite UI enhancements to uh, to the template designer. There, um, it's going to be a lot more easier to use, a lot more user friendly, uh, better interface. Um, and we're also going to be adding additional configuration options on the dialog, um, such as being able to preset fields for multiple signees. Um, so I want to thank you guys all for joining. Um, feel free to join our other upcoming webinars that we're having. Um, we're usually going to try to do this probably about on a two to three week schedule. So um, you know, just visit our website and check it out. Um, you can find us on the web at uh, www.mscrm-addons.com. Um, you can always get us if you need help or support. Uh, we have live chat and also support email. Very important, support at mscrm-addons.com. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to shoot us a mail or give us live chat or give us a call, um, either way. Uh, another thing that I always do want to point out is that we have a, a pretty awesome blog, uh, and it's at blogs.mscrm-addons.com. A lot of resources there um, that can help you uh, do this. Uh, I also believe that uh, we do have a short video up um, for the whole DocuSign process um, on at how to add multiple signees and how to add those, those fields basically to your documents. So if you want to review that, that's pretty much it. So um, I want to go ahead and open up the